Come and sit down. In fact, I was just about to introduce you. Hi, how are you, Wendy? Scott, have a seat. Thank you. Now, uh, as I was explaining, uh, this next story, folks, is quite an unusual one. Some people might think it, uh, it sounds like a bit of a B-grade movie, uh, but my guests here believe it is true. Uh, they are university-educated professionals running a successful business. They come from Grafton, and they just happen to have spent time inside an alien spaceship when they were kidnapped by extraterrestrials. As I introduce to you, Scott and Wendy Longley. Welcome. It is a most extraordinary story. Um, it's heartfelt for you. Let's start, Scott. It was March this year. You were driving uh, on a road in New South Wales near Casino with your family. What happened with your UFO experience? All right. It was on the 16th of March of last month. We were travelling from Lismore. We were going home to Grafton. Um, we came upon a small town called Casino. Um, two and a half k's prior to Casino, I saw these two strong bright lights at the back of the vehicle um, and apparently at the same time my wife saw some strange lights in the front of the vehicle. <coughs> um, there was some time after that did, did we speak about these lights. Um, upon arriving home in Grafton it was 45 minutes later than a normal trip. So you took 45 minutes longer, longer to get home than you normally would? That's right. In the morning... Um, now, you do, at this stage, don't know anything. All you remember are these strong lights in the back and in the front. That's mm. correct. Okay, in the morning? Right. In the morning, we all developed colds. Um, my son had long strands of dry mucus from his nose with, with blood. Um, four long strands. <coughs> um, I had a very, very large blister on my right big toe. Um, I had a marking at the back of my neck. Um, my wife had sore ovaries. Um, she was very sore in her stomach. This is all on the Sunday. Um, on the Wednesday afternoon in our local paper, there was an article um, about UFO sightings <coughs> excuse me, over Grafton on that Saturday night. And w with this person's phone number, his name and phone number. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and upon phoning him up, he came around to our place. Okay. And what happened then, Wendy? Um, he uh, <coughs> suggested that we get some hypnotherapy done to try and recall the lost time. Because you don't remember anything at this stage, you're just, just not feeling light. well, colds, etc. So, and you've lost 45 minutes. Um, when you underwent hypnotherapy, what did you s discover, Wendy? Um, we discovered that we'd been picked up, that the car had been taken to the side of the road, and my husband was taken out of the car by two aliens, and uh, then I was taken out of the car by two more, and my daughter and I were carried off to a field. Scott was laid down behind the car and had his toe inspected. I'd go to the back of the vehicle. They laid me down on my stomach. Um, they examined... <coughs> they put something on into the back of my neck with a silver-light staple gun. Um, they turned me around. They inserted something into my right big toe. Um, and then, all of a sudden, I'm in the spacecraft. So you went into the spacecraft. That's right. All this was discovered under hypnotherapy. Uh, under hypnotherapy. So they did tests, experimented on you. Mm -hmm. What did they look like? All right. Um, you've probably got your norm of your UFOs is your five to six foot tall mm -hmm. UFO. Being In fact, we've got some photographs. Was mm -hmm. it like this? Um, not so much. The eyes were more horizontal, very similar to that. Um, mm -hmm. To me, on the third hypnotherapy, now that one to me is very, very evil. Right? And you actually Under, saw this yeah, figure? Yep. Okay, what did the spaceship look like? You went into the spaceship? Right. I went into the spaceship. Um, I went under three hypnotherapies, and I went under my fourth this morning to... No. It doesn't um, look like that one? No. Okay. Uh, did it look <coughs> like this next photograph that we, uh, we've got coming up? Do you remember the details of the spaceship? Oh, very plain, yes. Mm -hmm. Like a cliched saucer, you know, circular and, and very large and low. Do you remember being in it as well, Wendy? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. And just lying on a, a table with faces looking over me, and Scott saw the same figures, uh, like hockey mask figures, mm -hmm. if you can imagine the a hockey mask, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, nasty looking equipment. How did they communicate with you? Uh, I didn't um, 
I didn't remember any communication, but Scott was telling me about uh, telepathy. So they Seems to communicated be the te they telepathically? Mm -hmm. The first time they, um, they spoke to me was outside the vehicle, and they said to me that <coughs> we're very lucky people, very nice people, um, and be kind to your neighbour. I, I think they know that my neighbour and I argue a lot, maybe. <laughs> and, um, and in the spacecraft, they inserted this long rod through my right eye, and they said that um, you will feel some pain, and I said, no, I'm not, but it was a very discomfort. There was a lot of discomfort. Um, they, uh, again, inserted something into my right big toe, mm -hmm. and, and again, Now, these photogra this photograph we've got up there, explain. Mm. All right. The one on the top left, very, very friendly. Um, the one on the top right, he carried us out of the car, or carried me out of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, the one in the bottom left was the moth type, um, very friendly. The one in the bottom middle, um, he inserted the rod into my eye, and the one on the right I call Mr. Ant. Okay. Now, <laughs> you, uh, you live in Grafton. That's correct. Um, have you talked to your friends and family in Grafton about this, Wendy? Uh, some people I have, <coughs> yeah, and um, people have been really good, actually, even if they don't maybe believe it fully or accept it, you know, they're pretty good about it. Now, as I explained, you're both university educated, you run a successful business, you're from a respectable country town, uh, you haven't had any um, mental illness in the family before now, uh, and you're telling us you're abducted by aliens. Uh, I've just... Are you ga have you gained financially from no. this story? No. Have you sold your story, gained any money whatsoever? No. No. All we want to do is... Um, it is very, very hard to understand and very, very hard to believe what we went through unless you have been through yourself. Um, what sort of contact <coughs> have you had with, with other people uh, about... How many other people do you believe have gone through the same exercise? Many, I think. Many. Mm -hmm. Because so many people would lose time and perhaps not think to chase it up. Why, Wendy, do you think they chose you? I have no idea. I think my husband apparently has been picked up before throughout his life. Mm. Which I came out through the hypnotherapy. That's right. And I um, think I was just along for the mm, ride, last ride. In the second hypnotherapy, it came out when I was 4, 8, 14, and, and now. And none of those you remember previously? No, none at all. Now, a lot of people, when you play the cynic, as I will, will say, they've been watching too many X-Files. Mm. We keep being asked, do you watch the X-Files? And we've seen a, a few episodes, but it's not... Uh, how do you react? What would you like to say to people who will go, you know, they're a little on the loopy side and this is straight out of, uh, you know, a B-grade movie or an X-Files mm. script? We're not, here to, we're not here to gain anything at all. We're only here to tell people what we saw, what we went through as a family. And um, some will believe, some won't. It doesn't really matter. We just want to tell you, hey, they are out there and this is what happened to us. Do you believe they mean to harm or just experiment right. or are curious? Under the first two hypnotherapies they were very very nice. I had no problems at all. They gave me a glass of water so forth. Under the third hypnotherapy which I went, I, I went on Saturday morning um, completely different story. They were aggressive. They, very much so. Very very. What aggressive. do they want to do on earth? I think they're protecting us and <coughs> um, checking up on us like national parks and wildlife tagging animals. I think it's the same sort of... Have you thing. ever... Did you ever believe before March this year about UFOs? What was your belief before that? Um, probably like everybody else here. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. I'm not you, too sure. You know? Grafton might be thinking this is a bit curious. Probably. It's a bit too close to home, I think, for some people. Mm -hmm. What sort of reaction have you had from people in the street? You, you run your own car design business Good. there. It's a fledgling one, so we, we're sort of not dealing with a huge mm. number in the community. Mm. But, um, yeah, I think we've seen a few cynics, but... Do you expect they will come back for you, Scott? Well, they told me they were, and after the hit... Uh, you don't after want to the third, I don't want to go back. <laughs> no, 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 yet. No That's more. Yeah, don't want to. But, but they said will me. you have any control over that? Um, no. They will find Scott Longley wherever you are. That's correct. Mm. 
Mm. Just have to accept that, I think. Better find a new UBD. Yeah. No. <laughs> have the chip removed wherever they've hidden it. Do you think they've planted something in you? I think they must have to be able to keep track of people that have to use some system. There's a lady who, in Brisbane and she's just discovered something in a CAT scan and the doctors won't give her her results mm -hmm. because they, I think they were scared at what they discovered. Mm. Are you paranoid about this for yourselves or your family? Um, I was before this morning. I had to go under another hypnotherapy just to, just to relax after what I found out after the third hypnotherapy. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm okay now, but um, just have to wait and see. But you're making no financial gain. You just want to tell people what you felt, what you saw, and you don't mind people thinking it is more than just a little curious. I That's think right. people need to know. They have mm. the right to know. Well, an interesting story it is, and I think you're very brave to, to share it uh, with us, and we want to thank you very much. Folks, please thank our guest, Scott, and Wendy Longley.